my name is FD Tuts, and today I'm bringing you part two of Sony Vegas 3D text tutorials, and uh, this will be covering the lighting. If you haven't seen my previous one, which covered how to create it, feel free to look it in the description, and it'll also be as a video response. And if you want to see the motion tracking one, feel free to um, subscribe so you can be updated when that's uploaded. And um, as you can see right here, it looks like the text is actually on a flat surface, and that's created with uh, all effects included in the software, which is great, and it produces extremely good results in my opinion. So I'm just going to go ahead and cover that for you, but before I do, I want to show you a cool little neat trick to uh, making your text a lot more customized. Now uh, if you have your text you can always include a picture you can import it via project media it can be an image it can be a texture um, this is not a bad noise texture right it looks it looks dirty it looks like sand right and of course you're gonna see it consume the whole screen in a second I'm actually gonna drop my quality it's too slow whoa that does not look like the texture right there wonder how it changed. Anyways. Ugh. Just gonna delete these. And uh, you could use whatever texture you want. You can use an image. Anything really will work very well. And what you mainly want to do is if you want to animate it, go ahead further in your project and increase the project progress in degrees by as much as you want and as you can see it moves and uh, what you want to do is go to the compositing mode and just click multiply and mask now you want to have a completely transparent background or else it will consume the whole screen but as you can see right there it produces a very neat effect and if I was actually able to play this you'd be able to see this text actually having a moving texture which is really neat and uh, now on with the actual lighting tutorial. Now I'm just going to go ahead and turn on my background. Now it's just a solid white layer and it's easy to work on especially when you're trying to create 3D text. Now again if you ever want to move your text go ahead and click the parent motion tracking sequence and restore box. As you can see it looks pretty decent right guys? Now I'm going to go ahead and show you what this is basically made up of and I'm gonna show you how to change all of the text with one single uh, click instead of individually going to each text and clicking it to change it I'll show you guys how to just change it uh, fairly easily now these are only five layers so it's not much to work with if you want to create a much larger 3D text file, it won't be that much a problem. Uh, uh, if you haven't seen my last tutorial, I'll show you. It shows you how to create extremely large ones and extremely um, large extruded text. And I'm just going to show you. As you can see, without the lighting, the text just blends in into the background, right? If you remove the white background, you can see the actual text. But what we want to work with is extremely decent or even better lighting than Cinema 4D. Now, what I use is our light rays to create the shadowing on the actual text itself. Now, um, all you want to do is drag and drop the shadow on any text really. It usually works best, especially if you don't like very dark shadows on the bottom text because it'll create a realistic uh, shadow on the actual text because it'll be coming from the last layer of a solid text. Um, you can copy the settings right there. They're pretty easy. I like to keep it like at a 90 degree angle uh, because that's where the lighting I prefer is. And as you can see the sensitivity and strength are at center. Radius at X and Y are at 1. Feather is at 1. Blend is at 1. And the big thing about this is changing the tint color to black. It's usually at white and it's very simple to change. Um, 
of course you can make it more intense by changing the strength and sensitivity to uh, what your liking may be. Now what you want to do is put this on every single text or on one depending on how much you want your shadows to appear on the actual text and I just prefer putting on every single layer as it makes uh, for different angled views a lot better but uh, when it's clear simple 2D uh, kind of you're just seeing it flat right there if I were to move the uh, rotation you'd obviously see it differently and that's where the actual shadows come into play now for the great 3D effects you want to use bump map now I have a, several presets here and I used to have more but uh, these are ones that I've worked out recently and this one I really like for creating soft text effects on it as you can see but if you use uh, my original 3D text one it creates a much more bolder effect and you could of course get these presets uh, from my last file and I will also be including the project file for this project in the description and um, you can copy the settings right there, you can pause the video uh, but what I will use in this tutorial is my second one which you can copy the uh, settings right there or just download the file and save it as a preset when, on your own time so uh, unfortunately I do not know any way to post or paste one single effect on different multiple layers uh, so all I'm really gonna do is just go layer by layer adding the effect to it. Now it may not seem like a lot's happening right now uh, but it is guys. I just added a great bump map to every single text and it's gonna make it look a lot more realistic. Now as you can see with the shadows I've added and with the lighting effects I have added it will look like it's actually on a flat surface which will take me on to my next tutorial on how to motion track it so you can place your text on any flat surface and it'll look like it's actually laying there and it looks very nice I've actually created um, effects with this text that looks a lot better than most Cinema 4D text and by that I mean I mean Cinema 4D text have been overused this creates extremely nice lighting and text at least in my opinion so if you guys wanna try making backgrounds with this this is what I actually used to use before I obtained Cinema 4D and that's how I used to create 3D text and I thought it created great 3D text now uh, before I finish up the tutorial I want to show you how to actually create I mean change your text layers uh, without having to go individually changing every single one now you want to like I just showed you you want to hold down and copy the first layer shift and drag all the way to the bottom and then click shift again and you can easily change it although uh, you may notice that it always it's always gonna unaffect a couple layers which is something I don't really know why it happens but just go ahead and do the same thing to the unaffected layers click close and there you go great text guys and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you want to see the next one uh, just subscribe and you can be updated when it's uploaded if you want to know how to actually create this text and not just download the template and follow along with the tutorial go ahead and check out my first part of the tutorial anyways guys till next time everyone free darkness out